Faith and Begora, a happy St. Patrick's Day to you all. Oh, oh. I... I may not have thought this through very well. Um... I'll be back in just a second, but in the meantime, this is Too Late to Sleep. Welcome back. Uh, wait. I mean, welcome back. That's not going to work. Welcome back to Too Late to Sleep. Happy St. Patrick's Day to everybody. Now, I'm recording this on Thursday, last night, so I am not going to be on top of everything that I wish I could be, but life gets in the way. Show comes out Friday night. Takes a little bit to edit. Can't always have it done when I want to do it. What I'm getting at is today... There was a video released, Southpaw Regional Wrestling. This is from WWE. They put out a teaser earlier in the week. And it looks like the craziest thing in the world. Um, if you follow shoot videos at all, you might be aware of a character named Sex Ferguson. This is Luke Gallows. He created it uh, when he was out running the indies. There was a Wake Up Time to Die episode, the debut episode of uh, Cliff Compton's shoot video series, uh, where he plays this character. He's shown up in some other things, and it's hilarious. It's this 80s or 70s territory era, over the top, basically the culmination of Gallo's grizzled young veteran uh idea is this character and it looks almost like they built this entire thing around that idea it's territory era awfulness handled cheesily just in what has been put out uh, so by the time you've seen this I will probably already have watched it on my work break 20 times and gotten in trouble for not getting back to work uh, because it just looks so insane. Ah, I cannot wait. The other big thing happening tonight, uh, should have started a couple hours before this went live, is Russell Circus South by Southwest Wrestling Show. Russell Circus just kind of came out of nowhere a couple months ago uh, with iPay-per-views. They're another brand that uh, is doing the Pivot Share uh, monthly subscription program, but they've only had two shows so far. So for me, it's a little hard to justify $9.99 to have two. By the time Friday, uh, Saturday comes along, three shows that I can access where the same price will get me almost any PWG show uh, on High Spots On Demand, plus all these shoot videos. Uh, one thing I do want to do eventually is get a comparison of a bunch of these different video on demands, but Russell Circus is doing a show tonight, stat card, a uh, bunch of indie superstars. They've really just kind of put together, this is their third show in a row where it's just some of these big names that you expect to see working, you know, Battle of Los Angeles, and they're pulling them in uh, and to help promote the show. If you didn't catch it, and if you're watching this, I don't know how you didn't, because there's got to be a, almost 100% overlap. But in case you missed it, they are running a 24-7 uh, championship along the lines of DDT in Japan's Iron Metal Heavyweight Championship. Uh, last year, Joey Ryan won the belt uh, while on one of his tours of Japan, which he does a lot. And he brought it back to America with him and basically spent the summer defending the belt, losing it to different people, and putting the uh, different title changes up on YouTube. It got a lot of buzz. It went viral within the wrestling community. 
didn't really get outside of it much, but there were a lot of wacky title changes. Candice LeRae won it from Joey Ryan in a dream, animated in uh, crochet, stop motion. Uh, Ron Funches bought it from Joey's now fiance uh, for Justin Timberlake's phone number. So there was a, a lot of weird things, and since Joey Ryan no longer has the title, now Wrestle Circus has their own version of that, uh, which much the same way, uh, taking off of the old hardcore championship in WWE with 24-7 rules uh, can be won anytime a referee is present and they are very loose with the definition of submit. So when Jervis Cottonbelly who had recently won the championship, posted a question to Reddit and hit submit. He then forfeited the title to the entire Reddit squared circle community. So I am one roughly 200,000th of the squared circle champion of Reddit, of uh, Wrestle Circus Sideshow. So, let's see how good my video skills are and crappily Photoshop the picture of the belt over my shoulder. There you go. Uh, wonderful way to advertise it because you, you got almost 200,000 eyes on it now. Uh, a lot of the people on Twitter that follow wrestling are aware of it now. Uh, really clever. I don't know how, it'll be interesting to see how much this boosts their sales. I'd be ordering it tonight if I were home. I'm not going to be home, which is why I'm putting this out when I, uh, recording this when I am. Uh, on to WWE stuff. Uh, we had the official announcement of a couple of TakeOver Orlando matches on NXT. Uh, it is official. Ember Moon is going to face Asuka for the NXT Championship, uh, Women's Championship. I would say that Ember Moon has a really good chance of winning it, especially with it being the WrestleMania weekend show. Uh, that I saw those two go at it. Uh, somewhere in here, you'll see that uh, base center uh, beatdown sign that I've got framed. That was one of the matches at that show. It was the first I'd ever seen Ember Moon. I didn't follow Athena on the indies. I really don't follow women's wrestling outside of the big shows. I don't watch indie women's wrestling. I should. I don't. So I didn't know who she was. This was my introduction to her. And we, as the crowd, gave her a standing ovation after the match. It was so good. It was... It would have been the match of the night if not for the DIY Revival match coming later. Which brings us to the other big title match announced, a triple threat elimination match between Authors of Pain, DIY, and Revival. Uh, Authors of Pain are so much better than they get credit for. Uh, people just see them as these big monsters and kind of treat them as you know, monster hosses, but they are so much better than that. They're actually legitimately good wrestlers, and they've come a long way as far as learning ring psychology. They're not as good as DIY or Revival at that, but they're good enough that their inclusion in the match is going to be amazing. Uh, with it being a triple threat elimination match, it's not going to be just one team sneaking away uh, the win, screwing somebody out. Everybody has to be pinned or submitted to leave. Uh, so you're going to have a real winner at the end of the match. I would expect Authors of Pain to retain the championship. because Mainly because I'm hoping that the Revival and DIY get promoted after WrestleMania. That's the hope. Don't know for sure. Uh, the other big match is... Shinsuke Nakamura is going to take on Bobby Roode in a title match rematch. Uh, that one was kind of expected. Uh, they had the Cassius Ono Bobby Roode match, but it was Cassius Ono's first televised match back, and he gets the title match. Uh, nice way to capitalize on the buzz with him coming back, but I didn't expect him to win. Uh, so this is going to be a good match. 
the first match was really good. It'll be interesting to see what they do with the rematch to change it. But I would also expect Bobby Roode to come out on top of that one. Uh, the other big thing was from SmackDown. Shane just got waylaid by AJ Styles. Uh, it was the kind of sneak attack that we just do not see that often in wrestling anymore, which made it great for them to bring it back. It has been uh, a while... Wait, no. We just saw almost the exact same thing with Baron Corbin. Yeah, Baron Corbin almost killed Dean Ambrose last week, and then AJ Styles almost killed Shane this week. Good job. Uh... Shane sold it well. It was kind of weird that they went to the trouble of removing AJ from the active roster to sell that he had been fired, only to have Shane at the end of the show challenge him to a title match. So he's fired, but he's getting a match at, at WrestleMania. I think it's a title match, a match at WrestleMania. He's fired. But he's getting a match at WrestleMania. Those don't work together. It'll be interesting to see if it's like uh, earn your job back match, what, how they do, if there's any kind of stipulation to it to make sense of that discrepancy. I'm not going to hold my breath. Uh, more than likely, it's just going to be Shane reinstating him just to give him the match. Uh, thank you for hanging out with me. Sorry I didn't have more jokes, but just really wanted to talk about the stuff coming up this weekend. Have a great St. Patrick's Day. All of you, I love you. Be safe. I know by the time this airs, you're probably already, if you're drinking this weekend, you've already started drinking. But if you haven't, be smart about it. I love you, Trampians. I cannot afford to lose any of you. Uh, you're great people if you're watching me. Don't do anything stupid. Check out the videos. Hit like, tell your friends, subscribe. Cheers.